Hello everybody, this is Sia Knight, the College Savvy Coach, and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and welcome to Savvy Saturdays. And our topic for today is whether or not middle school students should take algebra. Whether or not middle school students should take algebra. Now, I have some thoughts on this based on my experience working with students and families. Um, I think there's some things you need to consider. I won't say that it's all right or all wrong in situations and in all situations, but I will say there are three things, three big things that I would keep in mind when thinking about a student taking algebra in middle school. Number one, if your student starts to take advanced math in middle school, he or she's going to have to continue that track on throughout high school and I think sometimes parents don't kind of think about that bigger picture for instance if your student starts algebra in sixth grade many times he or she may actually max out of the maximum math that your school division is able to offer and then you are back into a corner with the student either not being able to take math junior and senior year, which is actually a big no-no, or you're having to go to the community college or local university for your student to be able to continue the math education. So just keep that in mind. He or she may max out of math. The second thing I want you to think about is that some universities don't count middle school classes for college admission. I'll say that again. Some universities don't count middle school math for college and university admission. So you might think that you're doing your child a favor, you're going to give them some type of advantage because they're going to take all of these advanced high school credit classes in middle school. And some universities, I know I've personally talked to reps from two of them when I went on school visits. They told me they do not look at middle school classes even if they're on the high school transcript. So that's just something that's good to know. And the third thing that I want to say is something I said often to parents and it's something that as a parent I have to also remind myself with my own children and that's this. Just because your child can do something it doesn't mean that they should do it. For instance, let's take this particular situation and put that on the table. Middle school student, math. The student, he may show the signs that he's ready academically to take math. However, here's the question. Does your child like math? If not, you might be sitting yourself up for a struggle every night because there'll be probably a little bit more homework. Uh, there will be more intense discussions around the dinner table. And it can, you can really set yourself up for a potentially bad situation if your child, they have the talent for it, the ability for it, but if they hate math, you know, you might not want to set yourself up for that type of situation so early so early so that's it for this week's installment of savvy saturday join me next week when we tackle another question another topic in college admissions 